Welcome, welcome. My name is Balazs and we have on the left side a beautiful iPhone 7 which is running the latest software and then we have the latest Huawei P10 software running on the right side. So we have two high-end premium smartphones by um, a Chinese company and by an American company but this Android phone is one of the best on the market right now so let's dive in and check out both from the outside in a comparison. So we have on both a smaller design uh, here because we have uh, the regular versions, not the Plus iPhone 7 and the Plus Huawei P10. And so we have the smaller um, premium flagship devices by these major players um, in this segment. So we have a 5.2 inch device and a 4.7 inch device where, as you can see, the Huawei is a little bit taller thanks to the bigger screen, but actually not that much bigger compared to the really bigger screen. On and off switches, volume rockers, everything um, is obviously built in on both phones, except for that the iPhone now doesn't have a headset jack, which is a, a big minus. Otherwise, we have on both a reversible USB 2.0 connector. Um, this is Lightning, this is USB Type-C. We have on both a speaker, a microphone is behind this grill for the iPhone, and then we have the uh, microphone just with a little tiny hole um, for the Huawei device. Um, on the top, there's a secondary microphone for Huawei, uh, while we have uh, the secondary microphone phone uh, right next to the camera for the iPhone. A big drawback for um, Apple users is with the um, a SIM card slot is that they only have a single SIM version available. Here in Huawei we have a dual SIM version available or if you buy um, a single SIM version there's still on the secondary slot a micro SD card slot and that's also available for the dual SIM device so you definitely have an expandable storage which is um, quite great especially since it's available with 32 or 64 gigs of internal memory and um, here we have the 64 gig version um, and to just expand that it's a lot cheaper with a micro than doing it um, as Apple does um, with just um, giving or getting a lot more money from you um, for a little bit more storage. So that's a plus point for Huawei. Also plus point is probably the camera which has also 12 megapixels um, as the uh, Apple iPhone but it doesn't stick out like as you can see here uh, even though the uh, Huawei smartphone is thinner. It's just 7 millimeters thin while we have here 7.1 millimeters in thickness um, for the Apple iPhone. That's um, quite interesting to see because you wouldn't think that actually um, Apple builds um, thick phones even though the battery is uh, smaller also just 2000 milliamps while we have here. 3000 milliamps still the Huawei is slimmer um, and has a bigger screen more battery and even a not sticking out camera still with optical image stabilization on both of them but we have uh, four tiny LEDs here um, for the Apple um, iPhone um, 7 which is obviously looking quite good and it's perfect for shooting pictures in the dark but there's still uh, two LEDs that you have on the Huawei are probably also enough to get a nice uh, picture um, or video quality. Also, we have a lot more sensors and uh, the secondary camera is there um, for the low light, better specifications and for shooting better black and white pictures and to just get more light into the picture um, because that one actually has even 20 megapixels, the black and white camera. So that's quite amazing um, on that part. And if you turn them around, we have on both, uh, as I mentioned, a beautiful um, screen, but we have on the right side a double, almost double the resolution than on the left side with the iPhone, which only has um, 750 times uh, 13 um, 34 while on the right side we have the 1920 times 1080 so full HD and on the left side a little bit more than HD. Let's check out the um, home buttons which are fingerprint readers on both devices. On the left side I just have to tap on it and it will right away unlock. Don't even have to hit it right just a little bit in the middle and it's really amazingly fast for iPhone. You have to not only put your finger on here nothing happens you have to really press it also even though it's not a real button uh, you have to press your finger down on it until you feel something like a button because there's just a vibrating motor behind that. So let's test both um, devices here for the fingerprint reader. You can see that um, Huawei was just a little bit faster but because we don't have an animation for unlocking so I would say definitely both are in the same league. The camera on the front, let's actually start with that, um, has actually uh, 7 megapixels on the iPhone and we have on the right side an 8 megapixel camera for Huawei which has an interesting technology built in. Um, not only that we have, okay we don't have HDR um, right now turned on but I could actually enable it by just um, pulling it in from the side and downloading it 
but what we have actually here is a better wide angle, a sharper camera with 8 megapixels compared to 7 and also if I go to the side of the screen or there's a lot of people in um, the picture, um, the device will actually um, try to get more of the people in the picture by zooming a little bit out. Now it's hard to do right now because of the light conditions, it was doing it in my German and Hungarian video a little bit, but usually it tries to zoom out a little bit when there is a face on the edge of the screen, but you can see the eye iPhone does a lot better when it comes to the software um, with the uh, light applications that, as you can see here, um, doesn't change as much as it does on the Huawei, um, but probably if you would take a picture, it would be uh, the same quality or even better um, on the Huawei, uh, thanks to the wide angle, there's just more um, angle to see there. But for a lot of people, the main camera or the back camera is uh, way more important than the front camera and um, definitely both are on the same level, at least on the same level when it comes to optical image stabilization and everything else. You can see definitely that in terms of speed and everything, they are about the same. Both can shoot 4K video um, with the same speed. Um, slow motion video is also in the same speed. Um, but in terms of um, quality, we have on the left side a little bit more of a reddish uh, picture that you've seen also on the front. So the colors are a bit different but you can change that probably and on the right we have I think more real life colors um, when it comes um, to uh, that application but both look quite good and we have the same kind of wide angle built in. So what else we need to know obviously if you're talking about specs we have on the right side as I mentioned not only a higher display resolution but double the RAM for example also um, and in this case also double the memory because we have the 64 gig version here available uh, but that didn't help the um, Huawei hand, uh, smartphone because we have still more points on the left side in one of the benchmarks which is called Anti2 um, but uh, Huawei is beating the iPhone only in the 3D segment so if you want a game a bigger screen is obviously usually better and more RAM so that's why uh, probably here in 3D we just got a better, better result here uh, with the Huawei otherwise we have on the UX a loss for the Huawei and the CPU a loss and also for the RAM a loss um, but actually not by that many points um, on almost all of them so it's all right but in uh, real time so if you check out here that we have no apps or not no apps but actually we can close them all um, nothing running in the background we could just go now to the home screen and start a game which is called Relic Run I'm using this as a benchmark usually because it's not too big to download and a lot of people I think over 10 million are playing this and you can see that it loads up quite quickly on the iPhone while on the left side on the right side for the Huawei there's a few things that it wants to do usually like adding some accounts or anything like that but you can see then when we are in the game that the colors are also looking quite good on both but on the right side um, I would say that there's just more detail thanks to the full HD screen um, and the uh, colors are more vibrant here they're a little bit more washed out and um, this is just looking better as I mentioned also for gaming I would probably choose rather the Huawei probably also because of the battery life because we have here 3000 milliamp compared to just 2000 which I already mentioned and when I was talking about the thickness so what um, what is actually the pro for the iPhone? Well, it's water resistant IP67. That's something Huawei hasn't worked on yet. So that's actually quite um, great. That you can just take it to the to anything there where you have sweet water and dive it um, below the water for half an hour for a meter. Uh, so for example, you can use your iPhone in the shower, um, but you can at least use your um, Huawei smartphone with a headset without any adapters, and you will have a longer battery life, a bigger screen, and probably even better cameras on the front and the back thanks to a lot of nice software features but on the iPhone you have uh, definitely a huge ecosystem also available when it comes to accessories that's not uh, there yet sadly for the Huawei uh, smartphones but you can order all kinds of things from China. So I would probably choose the Huawei smartphone but only because I know this will get cheaper a lot faster and I can expand the memory and I can do all kinds of things that I can do also with the iPhone except for go swimming with it but if you think about it how often will you do that in the next one or two years that you want to take your smartphone underwater. Just get a GoPro for the price difference that they will have in a few months and then you're probably even happier. Thank you much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Balage, and um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a like if you like this little comparison. Thank you.